Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. It's not the most noticeable symbol at the Capitol, but for State Senator Athenia Joyner, the Confederate flag on the Senate seal became plain as day over the summer. I'm wearing this seal on my lapel, and, and there it was. And I don't think many of us have really taken a real look at our seal to see what those flags were. Joyner reached out to the Senate president following a racially motivated South Carolina shooting in June. She requested a discussion about the possible removal of the Confederate flag from the Senate seal. By your vote, uh, show the recommendation approved. The Senate Rules Panel voted unanimously to remove the flag Thursday. It's time for us to have the seal be uh, consistent with our values. You know, we, we can't revise history and choose which moments in our history uh, to forget, but we can choose what we highlight in our seal. The seal is seen everywhere in the Capitol from doors to stationary, and if a majority of the Senate votes to change it, an unknown cost will come with it. In the Capitol's rotunda, a different Confederate symbol, this one a seal representing one of the five flags that have flown over the state. Joyner's rule change wouldn't cover the rotunda symbol, but a bill filed for 2016 would. And Senator Thompson's bill probably includes every facet that deals with the public display of the Confederate flag in the Capitol. It was recommended that the rebel flag on the Senate seal be replaced with Florida's state flag. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.